In this video, we'll examine the 21 elements thought to be essential for human life. We'll examine their appearance, and we'll also look at the amount of each of these elements in the adult human. Let's get started. We'll first look at the elements that dominate in the human body. It includes hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. Hydrogen, with its single proton and electron, is the lightest of the elements. It is not only the most abundant atom in the universe, but also in our bodies. In fact, over 60% of our atoms are hydrogen. I was amazed to calculate that a human 7 kilograms of hydrogen, when converted to a gas, would fill 11,000 basketballs and would even be sufficient to lift that human into the air. If chilled to a liquid, the very low density of hydrogen means it would still occupy a relatively large volume. The body has more kilograms of oxygen than any other element, and as a liquid, it would occupy the volume of five basketballs. Most of the oxygen in the body is combined with hydrogen to form water molecules. Our 16 kilograms of carbon would occupy the volume of just one basketball. You find it in all the body's organic molecules, including sugars such as glucose. Our 1.8 kilograms of nitrogen make it the fourth most abundant element. Nitrogen is critically important in the amino acids of all our proteins. I think it's impressive that over 96% of the human body's mass is composed of just these four elements, as are over 99 of 100 of its atoms. Other elements may be lesser in quantity, but they are critically important to the body's function. Our one kilogram of the shiny metal calcium would occupy the volume of about three baseballs and is needed to form our bones and teeth. Phosphorus is also an important element in our bones and teeth. Our phosphorus would occupy a volume of about two baseballs. It is also a very important element in the body's energy reactions and can be found in our DNA and cell membranes. Potassium is a soft metallic element needed for all tissues within the body. Our potassium would occupy the volume of about one tennis ball. Let's look at sulfur. This cube of sulfur represents the amount of sulfur in an adult. Sulfur is especially important in forming bonds between the amino acids of proteins. We have 100 grams of the metallic element sodium and about the same amount of the non-metallic chlorine. Together, these two very reactive elements combine to form the edible mineral we call salt. Sodium and chloride ions are a major determinant of the salinity of the body's fluids. Magnesium is an essential nutrient that is needed for hundreds of the body's chemical reactions. Our 19 grams would occupy the volume of about two of these magnesium cubes. Iron is an element that is especially important in the body's formation of hemoglobin. Here I'm measuring out the amount of iron in the adult human. Zinc is a silvery metal with many important functions. The body has about the amount of zinc contained in this U.S. penny. So far we've seen 13 elements present at greater than 1 gram that account for nearly all of the body's mass, but there are another 8 elements that together comprise less than one half the weight of this BB, but are still critically important in the body's chemistry. Copper is one of these trace elements. It's present in just the amount needed to coat this penny. A tiny amount of iodine is needed for proper function of our thyroid. We also have a tiny amount of selenium. We obtain chromium in our diet. There's no need to lick the bumpers of antique cars. We have 12 milligrams of manganese. We have 7 milligrams of lithium. 5 milligrams of molybdenum, and 3 milligrams of cobalt. That makes the 21 elements needed for human life. 
Thanks for watching. Please check out my other science videos and subscribe to my Science for Man channel.